What's up guys, Zinigami here. If you were one of the lucky, lucky people who bought the Wild Luffy, the Wild Luffy that's from the Rayleigh shop that cost 10,000 Rayleigh points, yes, there was an error in his description of his special because Bandai can't figure out how, what their character specials do. So anyone who bought the Luffy gets the free 10,000 Rayleigh points back. So yeah, 10,000 Rayleigh points for anyone who happened to buy him, which basically just made him free, but still it sounds really good, right? 10,000 Rayleigh points for free. No, uh, they mess up his description. What I want to know is when they're gonna fix the description of Fortnite Whitey Bay, because that description is still wrong. I demand another 10,000 Rayleigh points for the correction of the Whitey Bay Fortnite character. I demand it, and you should demand it too, so we can all get free Rayleigh points. Uh, speaking of the Rayleigh Bazaar, in Rayleigh's shop, there's going to be the Garp ship, uh, which is going to be out later. Yeah, Garp ship is going to be a 1.5 times attack booster for Psy and Strength characters and a 1.25 times health booster for Psy and Strength characters. It's nice, but it's not really as important. The really, like, the only ship that's, like, super, super, super important from the really bizarre is the Rocket Man ship, which is so very, very strong and incredibly vital for zombie teams. And then on the Japanese version, we are getting the Vander Decken ship which is going to be an experience boosting ship, just like the three year anniversary ship was where if you use it, it'll increase the amount of pirate EXP you get at the end of your runs. So that's gonna be a very nice ship too. So if you had to just buy a few things from the Rayleigh Bazaar, it would be the Rocket Man, and eventually when it comes out, the Vander Decken ship. Uh, we're also getting more books. Yay, more books, we already knew about that one. There are going to, uh, confirmed now is the Zephyr, Giltasoro, and Shiki raids. Zephyr, Giltasoro, and Shiki are confirmed to be coming back with the rest of the Fortnite movie characters. That's what they like to do. They like to move all the movie characters together and put them out all at once. So we will be getting Zephyr, we will be getting Shiki, we will be getting Giltasoro back. Remember that? Zephyr and Giltasoro are basically 40 stamina raid bosses. Yes, there is a 60 stamina Giltasoro, but you only need to do the 60 stamina once in order to get the Rainbow Skull to evolve him, or you can just get the Rainbow Skull from, I mean, Rainbow Crab, not Rainbow Skull, Rainbow Crab from Rainbow Crab Island. So, Giltasoro is basically a 40 stamina raid, Shiki, Shiki is a 60 stamina raid, and Zephyr is a 40 stamina raid. Um, I would highly recommend getting all three of these characters, especially since after this event, it'll be a long time before they come back. If you're wondering how to beat them, I have multiple preparation guides and full video guides on all three of them. So check them out on my channel. You just Google Zinigami or check on YouTube. Zinigami Guild of Sorrow, Zinigami Shiki, you'll find all of them. And then the movie Fortnite's Butler and all of those will also be coming back, which they're nice. But the real big things are the movie raid bosses. That's that's the main stuff for Global on Japan. Because that's what we want to know about, right, Japan? On Japan. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, no, no, spoilers, spoilers. We can't go into that part yet. We are getting a new Int Mihawk raid. Okay, I'm kidding. We're getting a new Int Doflamingo raid! I'm not kidding. So, this is an Int Doflamingo raid. How it's gonna work, we're not 100% sure. But from what we can tell, we know that he is going to be Int. He's going to have the exact same captain ability and special as the Dex Doflamingo raid. And this is going to be a limited time event. Whenever you, it's gonna be for one week. Every single day, you have 30 minutes in order to do it. You start it and you have 30 minutes to run it within that time. Within those 30 minutes, of course, you can do it as many times as you'd like. And you are only allowed to bring Fighter, Cerebral, and Striker characters. So you can only bring Fighter, Cerebral, and Striker characters to this Int Doflamingo raid. I would highly recommend teams like Strong World Shanks and Guild of Sorrow or Double Strong World Shanks because they're side characters and they're both Cerebral. Ooh, look at that. See how that works out. Uh, there, since it's going to have the exact same captain and special ability as Dex Doflamingo, I believe how it's going to work is that if you get one copy of the Int Doflamingo 
raid boss character. Then you can also use him to skill up the Dex Doflamingo or use Dex Doflamingo copies to skill up your Int Doflamingo. So should you farm this character? Yes, absolutely 100% Doflamingo is one of the best orb boosters in the game. And there are going to be many a times when you want to use an Int version of him versus a Dex version of him. He may even have different classes. We don't know if he's going to be a slasher dripping character just like before. He might have different classes which would make him even more desirable especially since he is going to be a two times orb booster and also let you move your orbs two times and of course two times slasher boost and captain which should probably mean he's still a slasher but we'll have to see we're not sure uh if his cat if his classes are the same all we can be 100 percent sure right now that he's going to be int is going to be a strike uh striker cerebral and fighting raid boss only and you're going to have 30 minutes to do it so we're gonna farm him as much as we can. I will have a guide, of course, once that come out. i help you guys out. That will be up on YouTube when it comes out on the 8th, which is my birthday. Hint, hint, hint. Uh, new, or not new, Rayleigh Island is coming back again. This Rayleigh Island, remember, is going to be, you can run it one time. Whenever you run it, Rayleigh will say some words. If you could read Japanese, he tells you what book he's going to get you. If you cannot read Japanese, you can go onto my Twitch channel and type in exclamation mark Rayleigh. When you type it in that, it will link you to the Reddit uh, thread that has each bubble that Rayleigh will say and what skill book that or what socket book that gets you. Of course, this is nowhere near as good as the 40 stamina Luffy socket book, but you can guarantee, like, if you just want to get heal per turn sockets, you can guarantee heal per turn sockets or bind or despair or whatever. If he doesn't tell you the one you want, like, if he tells you you're, he's going to give you an anti-poison socket, just exit out of stage, hit that exit button, just exit out, lose the stage, lose the tiny bit of stamina it costs you, then come back in and get the better book that you want. There is going to be double EXP from Extra Islands, and that is going to include not only Fortnite Islands, but it's also going to include Coliseums and the raids and events. So that's, or, or, yeah. So that's going to be double EXP. It also mentions down here to get the Vander Decken ship, which I mentioned earlier. You can see over here. The Vander Decken ship, that's what it's going to look like. It is going to be available on the Rayleigh Bazaar starting on the 1st to the 31st. And that is going to be a EXP boosting ship. We don't know how much it's going to boost the EXP by. And it's probably going to be a 1.5 times, just a blank 1.5 times attack boosting ship. So if you have it, definitely use it as long as you're not, you don't need like a special ability from the Thousand Sunny or something. There are going to be unlockable Fortnites once again. Unlockable Fortnites are the ones that if you go over to the extra islands up here, click on this unlock icon. Uh, click on this unlock icon. You scroll down, or I, I guess it'll be up top. There'll be unlockable Fortnites here. You unlock it for an entire 24 hours. And don't forget there are all these other unlockables that you can unlock for a gem for a set amount of time, whichever one you do. And then... You can run those, so if you need those Fortnite characters, you can unlock them and run them some more. There is going to be Super Success. I think that's the next one. Nope. We're going to get increased drop rates of Evolvers. So this is starting on the 30th. It's going to be a permanent increase to Evolver drop rates for all of the Evolvers. Seahorse, Penguin, Dragon, and Crab Island. You're going to have a better chance of getting whatever to drop. So if you need to get those Evolvers, maybe wait for a few days until that starts. And then it's going to be a permanent upgrade to all Evolver drops on those islands. This is going to be the... So if you don't already know, on the Japanese version, the double stamina or double berry half stamina double EXP blurbs that are on the story mode islands are not for 24 hours. Those are actually only around for 12 hours at a time. They are changing that, so that way it is going to be for the entire 24 hours for just a few days. Uh, so that's going to be 24 hours of just the same old half stamina, double berries, double drop stuff on story mode that Global already has. That's one thing that Global has better than Japan, right? We have double EX, or double super success from the 1st to the 7th. The reason those numbers are in red is because they had to change those dates because of the... Uh, the anniversary stuff being pushed back. So you change this one to be the first to the seventh for double super success. 
we're getting more turtles from the 30th to the 4th you know how turtles work it's gonna be running it for 30 minutes as soon as you start it, you got 30 minutes to do it and you have increased stamina from snails so green snails of course means higher chance of getting something is gonna be stamina up from the 8th to the 15th and we're gonna get the rainbow evolver island back that is rainbow evolver and rainbow booster island remember that the secret stage for the rainbow booster island is a princess turtle Highly recommend restarting that island until you can find that princess turtle. It's definitely going to be worth it. Especially if you can use a Bakura buggy team or a double buggy team if you have that buggy yourself. And the secret stage for the Evolver Island is a rainbow dragon. And on this, these stages, I recommend doing the same thing as the Rayleigh Book Island where if you don't get the drops you want, click on the button in the upper left, lose the island on purpose, and then come back in and just do it again and hope to get the drops that you want. You'll lose stamina, but at, at the end you'll get better stuff out of that stamina we're having two times skill ups come once again from the 10th to the 12th remember that the next two times skill ups on japan is actually going to be before that is going to be on the 29th from the 29th to the 1st, there's going to be 2 times skill ups on Japan. And then once again, on the 10th to the 12th, there'll be 2 times skill ups again. So if you need those skill ups, you're running out of box space. Well, there's plenty of it, my friend. Plenty, plenty of it. There is also going to be the new Sugofest characters coming out. Yes, indeed. The new Sugofest characters have been leaked. Uh, they are going to be 6-star Enel. Six Star Enel is also going to have a... So that's our Legend Enel. They are all a database, and I will be putting out a character ranking video that goes over all the characters, what they do, and how good we think they are. So there's going to be a Legend Enel. There's going to be a new Kuma. There's going to be a new Rob Lucci, a new Croc, a new Moria. And we have Six Plus Rayleigh. Yes, Six Plus Rayleigh. I'm going to go over what all of these characters do in a character ranking video. So you want to find out more about that. And then, and, and uh, if you don't want to wait for that and the character ranking video is not out yet, you can always go to the database and check it out yourself. Guys, I'm Zinigami. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, you can go to patreon.com slash Zinigami and subscribe or check us out live on twitch.tv slash Zinigami. And once again, y'all stay beautiful.